If you feel tired after you eat, it means that maybe you ate too much or maybe the food was too heavy for you to digest. But if you feel energized, because food is meant to energize us, <laughs> uh, if you feel energized, it means, oh, I had the right meal. Because see, food can heal us or it can hurt us. So my passion is to educate people about how food can heal us. Dear's Kitchen is, um, it's like my baby, <laughs> my husband and I. <laughs> It's, um, it's, it's a restaurant. It's all vegetarian with maybe 80, 85% of the menu is vegan as well. And our menu is based on the principles of Ayurveda. Ayurveda is the ancient uh, traditional medical science of India. It's part of the Vedic culture and Vedic texts. Uh, it's a very old science. So in Ayurveda, you can trace almost every physical illness back to indigestion. That, yes, that's where it started. And then it, 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 it grows into ulcers or cardiovascular issues because digestion, according to Ayurveda, is at the core of good health. So we're in the kitchen of Divi's Kitchen and I am cooking kitri. Kitri is a traditional Indian dish that is also a centerpiece at, of Ayurvedic cooking. It's used in Ayurveda for many different things. So I'm adding the turmeric, the ground ginger, fennel, this is ground fennel. So see, uh, uh, turmeric and ginger are heating spices. They increase heat in your body. So we balance the heating spices with a cooling spice like fennel. Kitri is like a one-pot meal. It has lentils, grains, vegetables, but the way you feel after you eat kitri feels very balancing, very like a, like a harmony in your body. So again, in Ayurvedic cooking, we always focus on how you're going to digest the food. Our food is really delicious and also very filling. So many people actually come back and they say, I came back because I felt so good like hours and days after I ate at your place. People will eat and they'll come back and they'll say, I didn't have any digestive reactions after eating your food. And I'm like, I can tell you why. <laughs> we do everything from scratch at Divi's Kitchen. We salt the almonds overnight and squeeze them to make fresh almond milk. We make our fresh paneer cheese every day. Uh, because in Ayurveda, the best cheese is when it's made from fresh milk. It's fresh cheese, not fermented or aged cheese, because the fermented cheeses are harder to digest. Yeah, well, many people think Ayurvedic food is Indian food. And um, when I notice that somebody's thinking that way, I tell them right away, no, it's not. <laughs> A lot of people go to a restaurant and the first thing is, oh, it tastes great, I really enjoy eating it, but I feel horrible like an hour or two after. So for me, it's like, what's the point of why eat? It's like, you have to enjoy food before, during and after, not just before and during. <laughs> All of my recipes are designed according to the Ayurvedic principles of food combinations. So food compatibility for digestion, because very often I see this in cookbooks all the time, and um, like chefs combine ingredients for taste and maybe presentation, but they don't think about what happens after a person eats that. Like I can eat one food and it's really good for me, and the same food, your body reacts totally different. So um, Ayurveda explains that each one of us has individual body type and not every diet is meant for every person. So in our, in our restaurant, we avoid nightshades. So we don't cook with potatoes, tomatoes, eggplants, and peppers. 
they're hard to digest and they can cause inflammation. And nowadays there is an epidemic of, of inflammatory diseases. Ayurveda speaks about the importance of using cultured ghee. So not, not all ghee is the same. Ghee is um, it's similar to clarified butter, but it's better. It's the butter without the lactose and the milk uh, proteins. Ghee has tremendous medicinal properties. It, um, it's one of the best animal fats. It's very, especially cultured ghee, it's very easy to digest. It has lower cholesterol level and it travels in the body very easily and it nourishes the body down to the cellular level. It's great for your brain, it's great for your memory. As it simmers, all the milk solids separate to the bottom. You will see the ghee is the pure form of butter. It's also worth it. It takes time. It's not cheap, but because of its tremendous medicinal effects, it's totally worth it. Before our restaurant, we had, um, we still have it. It's a culinary school called Bhagavad Life. It's an, uh, it's a school dedicated to teaching Ayurvedic cooking, and people would always come and they would eat will have a meal at the end of the class and they would say, oh wow, this food is amazing, I feel so good. Where, where can I eat like this? We said, well, maybe it's time to open our first restaurant, which is also the first Ayurvedic restaurant in New York. Ayurveda is still not mainstream, but it's becoming very popular. So people are learning a lot about Ayurveda through yoga. Yoga and Ayurveda are like sister sciences. So who seeks us? Uh, the most. I would definitely say that health conscious people, people who are thinking, oh, I need to eat healthier. Yeah, New York's lifestyle and environment, you know, the city that never sleeps. <laughs> New York lifestyle and environment is definitely counteractive or counterintuitive to health. People are really finding that even little, by applying little things in Ayurvedic self-care or diet or routine, it really helps them feel better. According to Ayurveda, healthy food is the food that's freshly prepared, so no leftovers. It's fresh because it's full of life. When it's freshly prepared, it gives you prana, it gives you energy, the living force. At Divi's Kitchen, we mill all of our flours fresh. So we have two grain mills, one for the gluten-free flour, one for the glutinous flours, and we use the whole grains and we make them into fresh flour. The reason we do that is because flour is most nutritious within 74 hours of milling. It also reduces the risk of uh, mold growing into the flour. Also, the, f the taste of, the, of whatever we, we bake with this flour is just incomparable. It's incredible. When people come to a restaurant, I would say, uh, especially if they're for the first time, if they're there for the first time, they would say, "So, what's more popular, most popular?" And I would say, "Well." I always recommend that you eat according to how you, how you feel, and that's the title of my book, What to Eat for How You Feel, but I say, I always recommend that you actually connect with how you feel right now, and then the way I describe each dish on the menu is what the dish will do for you, like how it will make you feel. So my passion is to apply the Ayurvedic principles to any kind of cuisine. That's why you'll see on our menu we have risotto, and we have lasagna, and we have Asian stir fry, so rather than just going for the most popular dish, uh, experience uh, how food can balance you and go for the things that you feel will be the most balancing for you. My favorite part is at the end of cooking, I bless the food. Whatever I do, I want to benefit people. So I'm very grateful to be alive and I pray to be of service to others for the benefit of others. Honestly, the biggest compliment I would hear when I go and see guests in the dining room would be that I can really feel the love in your food, and I'm like, yes! <laughs> Cheat days? Yes. 
<laughs> you do. What is your definition? Okay, well, uh, well, cheat days. Um, I definitely crave pizza sometimes. Sometimes just the word pizza is like so comforting. It's like pizza.